this is the very first time that we do this and I have a camera here, a camera here and a camera there and this is really <laughs> exciting. Uh, this is our podcast, Entrepreneur Vibrations. Um, I am Sandy Perry. I am a marketing strategist and an entrepreneur myself. Aura Isabella has been an actress and content creator since 2004. She wrote and directed short films as a teenager and at the age of 19 studied screen acting in Vancouver Film School and then theater in Mexico City. She worked as an actress in theater and Mexican television and in 2016 she discovered her passion for self-development and started creating content on YouTube. She now lives in Washington DC where in 2018 she started her online coaching business to help female online entrepreneurs become confident on camera, increase their visibility, and make more sales using video because she believes every woman can have the business of her dreams with the right strategy and confidence. Now, here's your host for the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show, Sandy V. Terry. I published, I put a um, Instagram yeah. post where I actually put one hashtag that it was Latina CEO and I think that is how I ended up uh, meeting Isa via Instagram. Yes. And then we connected through that and she replied to one of my posts. And when she did, I said, well, where are you located? And she said, I am in DC, but I'm actually from Mexico. And I said, oh my God, I used to live in DC. I lived there for 24 years. This actually, we ended up naming the Latina uh, podcast, and that is why I'm wearing <laughs> this, this t-shirt. I would like to introduce Isabella. She is an entrepreneur herself. She has an unbelievable track record herself. Um, she, as I said, originally from Mexico, and now she lives in Washington, D.C. She transferred there because of her husband. She originally had and started her career, um, but she's going to tell us more about it, um, within <laughs> YouTube. She has an amazing YouTube channel where she has a million views. And um, she started doing motivational videos, right? Um, and that's how she started getting all those views. She also loves deep tissue massage. I mean, who doesn't love deep, deep right, tissue massage? Right. She's an empath, which I'm interested to hear about that because that means um, yeah. you are in a sponge and you absorb a lot of the energy around you. Uh, and as an entrepreneur, you know, you, you need to tell us about that. So, so the very first question for Isa. So tell us about your entrepreneurial yeah. journey. So I always knew I wanted to be an actor. Like I wanted to go to school for acting. I wanted to actually be in all of the Harry Potter movies. Like that's why, what I wanted to do. So I was just like, I'm going to be an actress and I, I'm going to get in Harry Potter. That's how I started with like wanting to speak and like having like more artistic, like an artistic inclination. So I was like, I want to be an actor. But then years passed. I went to university for acting. I studied acting. I started working as an actress in Mexico City. But then I was like, I am a personal development freak. Like I need personal development all the time. So I was so excited about just being uh, like personal development in general. And then I found life coaching and I was like, holy crap, like I want to be a life coach. But I was like, no, but I'm already an actor. Like, how am I going to just like change careers? Like you can't do that. But I like, I just did it. I got certified as a life coach and I was like, I just want to help women. I want to coach people. I want to help them be better. But, but I had just this general idea of what I wanted to do. I wasn't very specific with it. So I decided to start a YouTube channel because I really wanted to talk to women about self-love and self-esteem. So I decided to just basically start making videos on the videos that I would have liked when I was younger. So I just started um, making videos for, for women and I started gaining a following mostly very young women uh, and I was helping them there, but they, I was receiving so many questions and so many messages. 
And I was like, oh my God, I'm so getting... all this things. at the beginning, sorry to so, interrupt you, but all this at the beginning yeah, yeah, yeah. was answering your own questions and your own needs, I guess. It was like exactly. that void that you had within you. Is that how it started? Yeah, it was like, man, I wish like five years ago, 10 years ago, I had someone who explained this to me about self-esteem, about growing up, as, about being, about sex, about relationships. I wish I had that. So I'm going to do this because I, I'm sure another girl out there who's five, 10 years younger than me will need this. And that's how I started getting this response of girls all around Latin America, but because my channel is in Spanish, um, thanking me first. And I was like, oh my God, the power of making videos. It's, it's just insane. The power um, of communication. Yes. The power of just putting your message out there, uh, telling your story and connecting with other people is just so powerful. Right. So I was like, I need to start making this more intentional. Because I was just making, I mean, random videos about what the topic that I was curious that week or, you know, like not very intentional. And I didn't have a business in mind. Mm -hmm. um, I started dabbling into the like, influencer thing. Like, you know, you get some like brands talking to you. I didn't do a lot of them because my channel is quite small. It's only 32,000 subscribers. Um, mm -hmm. but I started like growing a little bit and then Google, um, I entered this thing that is called the YouTube next stuff, which is a competition that you can enter if you have over 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So you can enter and then YouTube will select you if you win and they'll fly you to New York and just give you like a lot of tools and equipment just to like better your channel. So I enter that and I, I won and then I flew to New York and I got to collab with a lot of really big influencers. Um, and I was like, I really like this. Like I really like, <laughs> but I was missing this thing because I was talking to all of these influencers and I really liked what they were doing, but I was missing the business as aspect of it. So How old there, were you at this point in time? That was, that was like a year and a half ago. Like that was not very long ago. Okay. It was, 2017 so i i was like i really like this whole influencer thing and content creator thing but i really want to start a business like i really need the business part of it mm -hmm. because i don't own youtube i don't own social media mm -hmm. so if youtube dies tomorrow i won't like i don't have anything um and I've started businesses before in my life. Me and my mom, she's watching right now. Um, we hey, started mom. like <laughs> started a vegan a vegan cupcake uh, business. We we we've, we've done our stuff. Me and my mom have. We are very creative. Um, so I knew I I wanted to start. You got that gene business. from her. That's really good. You got that gene from her. <laughs> but I was like, okay, how can I turn this into a business? How can I turn this into something that I can actually uh, grow and own completely? So I, I started learning and a lot of people were asking me like, how do I start a YouTube channel? How do I make videos? How do I, can you help me with this? And I, people that knew me started um, asking me to help them and started paying me for, to teach them, to coach them on personal branding. They were, they would come to me and say like, I want to start a channel about this and can you help me? And I was like, okay, I think I can monetize this. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then and I, I started, um, I started doing consulting for them, but then I was like, Oh, I still don't understand how to do a proper business. So I got a mentor. I invested a lot of money into mm -hmm. uh, getting mentorship for business because I knew I wanted to do this. And I also got very serious about what, what I wanted to do. I didn't want to coach people just on like how to do videos, like how to set up a camera. Um, I want to 
put together the two things that I love most, which is content creation and confidence and, and personal development. Right. So that's why I, I started this business that I have now that I've had for six, a little bit less than six months, um, which is coaching women to become confident on camera so they can get their message out there and they can impact more people and get more sales and grow their business. So, because I realized that a lot of coaches have such great ideas, such great messages, but they're just so afraid of being seen and of like failing, of being, being in front of the camera. So I'm like, girl, girl, I want to help you. So that message goes out there and, and gets seen because like the world needs our messages. Um, right. So that's, that's basically my story. That's how I, that's how I started in the internet space. Well, it's pretty amazing time for you because obviously, um, you know, you have worked hard, you know, it's, it's been a journey. It's, it's not just a point in time. You, it's not like, oh, I got the training, I am done, I'm finished, now I have my business. You continue to educate yourself, you got the coaching, and now you're building your business, and now you're um, getting your customers. Um, but, but it's a process, right? It's a journey. Um, now, for all the viewers out, out there, and now for the people that are going to end up you know, seeing this podcast, um, there have been other things that have happened in your life, such as you move. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.